Hi, welcome to Gammy's Gone Gray. If you're new here, this channel is basically a lot of hodgepodge, a lot of this and a little bit of that. So if any of this is entertaining, please hit a thumbs up and you might even think about hitting subscribe. I've got a couple things to share today, but the first one and foremost is I went back to the tattoo artist. Hold on. I got to get myself a drink. You might want to grab a drink too. It's like 87 today and the humidity feels like it's 100%. When I went for my walk this morning, I was literally drenched in sweat. So one moment. Okay, I always, always, always only drank water for years, but, <coughs> sorry, a friend of mine, let me fix this a little bit, I don't know why it's wobbling, um, always drank, I'm sorry, should have done this before I started this fat vlog, always drank sparkling water and or carbonated water or seltzer whatever you want to call it and um you know what it's no caffeine no calories but i do believe they put something in it because i'm addicted i am addicted to this stuff so without further ado la da da la da da la da 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 da, -da, -da. what do you think oh i'm sorry you can't see it yep he redid it completely. Anthony, not the other guy. So, um, it took a long time. Oh, did it hurt? But I love it. Now, I love it. So, this is what the vlog really is about. It's my jeans, my shorts now. I'm kind of fat, I'm kind of chunky, I'm kind of round. But, we're talking about the, the shorts. You see the distressing on these shorts, even here and on the pocket. And you like these shorts? Do you like the distressed look that you can go into a store and pay anywhere up to $100 or more? No, 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 no. You're not to do that anymore. I'm going to show you how to do it yourself. I did this and on a budget because I am thrifty. And if nothing else, I'm sorry, somebody was calling me. Um, I do everything on a budget. So I got these, these were our, not were, are from Old Navy. And you wanna find a pair of jeans that are as close to 100% cotton as possible. These were 99% and I believe that these are 99% too. Um, I found these at the thrift store Liz and Company. I've never bought Liz and Company, but I thought the back was really cute. The little pockets were cute and they're 99% cotton. So this is what they, the price, but it was 50% off. So I did not pay seven dollars I paid 350 okay so what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna lay out these babies and you're gonna have to forgive me for a minute because I have to go grab something oh please I'll sing to you while you're waiting talk about you. I think this is the wrong size, but we're going to have to try to go for it. Okay, so you're going to get your jeans and you're going to lay them out as flat as possible because we're going to make these into shorts. Now you can do these with pants too, but this being summer, we're going to do shorts. So you're going to measure. For me, I like my inseam to be about... I start out with about, I want to say about six and a half inches. Then I can trim them up. You don't want to get it too short. 
because you can't put them back on. So go a little long and then you can trim them up. So I'm going to start at about six inches. And how I cut my, excuse me, is I go from seam to seam. Well, I try to go from seam to seam. I'm not going to do it this time. So I lay them out. Can you see? You don't want to look at me. You want to see what I'm doing. So I lay them out. flat as possible and I need a marker I'm not prepared for any of this am I hi Slaney why don't you get your act together before you start doing this vlog okay and I measure from the crotch where's that inseam it seems kind of crooked there it is seemed easier the first time I did this. Okay, from the crotch down, like I said, I'm gonna hit them at about six and a half. I'm pretty sure I go to five, but we're gonna start at six and a half. And then I can make them shorter if I need to. I don't have scissors. Wow, what kind of YouTube is this? Then you literally, so what I do is I go at an angle. I want them longer in my crotch and a little shorter. So I literally will measure again. So if you're measuring all the way down to there, I don't measure that. Why am I pretending? I just go at an angle. So I start cutting and I go a little up. Not drastic, just a little. the other side and then the easiest part this is gonna you're gonna be like wait a minute say what wait a minute that's all you do and yes this is all you do and you can make these any way you want them any way you want them okay so I do measure this part by the way I'm not faking this one And then you cut, but you do want it to be even with these. So you have to fold them from the inside out, inside out, got that. So when you're cutting, you're following that same line. Okay, do you understand what I'm saying? Are you catching my drift? So easy. Make these in 10 minutes or less or more. It's so hot. I just got this tattoo and I can't go in the pool. I mean, I can, but I can't get my arm wet. And uh, tomorrow I will be doing an unboxing on um, an inflatable kayak. So stay tuned because my girlfriend is coming over and she is going to videotape my unboxing and taking it out on the river. Hopefully if it doesn't rain. If it rains, we'll be take, putting it in my pool. But I love to kayak and um, we have kayaks and we have brackets for my car, for my SUV. And it's a pain in the hiney hole to get the brackets on and I can't get even the smaller of the two kayaks up onto my car by myself and to get it to the, it's a lot of work and you have to tie them down with 
ratchet tie downs. Let me just say that last summer we went out kayaking and I could have never done it on my own. I could never go by myself. And there's days that I just want to get in the car because we have a lake right, you know, 10 minutes from my house and a river. And I'm like, I could just go on my own. So I purchased an inflatable one and I can't wait to show it to you. So here we are with the cut shorts. Cute. Now to distress them, you want to put something that won't cut into. So I have this little plastic thingamabob that I use for my crafts. I have a billion of these actually. And you're going to, can you see what I'm doing? Are you watching me here? You're going to stick it into the pant leg. And you're going to start with your hem. Now, the reason you want 100% or very close to 100% cotton, because that will fray really well. Any kind of polyester or, or um, what's the, uh, any other, the stretchy, ooh, um, won't fray. So you want to fray. Now, you're going to watch other YouTubers show you with razors. You don't need a razor. You need a serrated knife. That's all you need. Just a kitchen serrated knife. And you are going to start pulling and pulling. And you got to be rough. You got to be rough. You're going to pull and pull. And as you see, getting the, can you see the fraying? Can you see that? Can you? Can you? And you're going to keep pulling. And you do that until you are satisfied with the rigid, the, the bottom, how the bottom looks. I like mine to look really worn. I don't want mine to look like they've been around forever. And once you wash these, they'll even get better. And then... The fun part is you pick wherever you want and start pulling. So I want them, you want to be very mindful of your pocket. So my pocket comes and these set right, right where? Right about here. Oh, I can feel it. So you don't want to go over the pocket. So then you just willy nilly. These cost me $3.50. Right? Willy nilly. And to make a hole, you're going to make slices, not in one spot, but up and down. And you want to keep, you, you do want to try to keep it taut. It's kind of hard to do that. But you try to keep it as taut as possible. And so I want a good size hole right here. So you just keep slicing at it and slicing at it, and slicing at it. And you see what's happening here? Can you see? And I kind of like that. I'm gonna do a little bit more. Now, I'm not gonna bore you by making you watch me do the rest of these, but you've got the idea. Cut them to your length. When I try these on, if these are too long, I will go back and cut them shorter and just do the, the edging again. But right now I'm going to be working on the distressing on the rest of it. So I'll be back to show you the final product. Bye. Getting to the end, doing the back, and now trying to decide, do I want to do something on one of these pockets? Sure, why not? They cost me $3.50, oh, $3 so I'm going to go this way on the pocket. Get a little dis distressing. There we go. Got a little hole in the pocket. The only thing on my arse. 
But if you want something on the side, which I don't have on the ones I have right now, so I'm going to put this on the side and make a little distressing right here. I mean, if you have any any anger build up, do this. Take this tag on. So, as I said, now I'm gonna I'm gonna put these in the wash, and after I've washed them, they will fray more and more. Every time you wash them, the fraying gets better and better. But this is my final duda. So let me try them on for you and we'll see how they look. Here they are, babes. There they are. I did an oopsie. I did it too close to the pocket, right up here where my fingers is, and it goes right into my under panties. So you gotta be careful with that, but I usually wear my shirts hanging out anyways to cover up my blubber. So, as I said, these will wear out. These are a little longer than the ones I just had on. But as you can see, you can go into a store and pay a lot of money to do something you can do yourself. So, that's that. Glad you came on. Um, tattoo. I think I might have mentioned in the last one uh, that um, I was offered a 100% refund, and I was. This place was really um, great. The business manager, forgive me, I'm just sweating like a hog, um, <clears throat> refunded me the cost of the original tattoo along with the tip that I had given and uh, said that this redo, retouch up, would be on the house but I was so impressed by the work that Anthony did. He covered up the words that you couldn't even. Um, I wish I knew how to do still shots so I could You just go back and look at how it used to be. You couldn't read I Rise. You can read I Rise on this. You can read it. Um, but he had to fill it all in. He had to add to it. And quite honestly, this tattoo is more in the liking of what I had envisioned and what I had wanted. I wanted something more. I, for, originally, I was like, I want something very simplistic. I want it minimalistic. I don't want people to know exactly what it is right off the bat. And really, you do have to kind of look at it for a minute to realize, oh, it is a bird. Um, but this is a tattoo. And guess what? And I know some of you don't care for tattoos. Oh, well. Uh, I'm getting a second one right here yeah I was told that once you get one you're gonna want more and I didn't think that was true but that is the case and I will be going back I've already got the design and I will come on and show you that uh, pain level was um, 0 to 10 10 being the worst it was a 15 it hurt it hurt bad but it doesn't last forever and um, I just a couple times just crunched up my face and closed my eyes and just waited and it burned pretty bad all the way home and probably two hours afterwards then as the night proceeded to go on the pain came down and came down praise God um, and now there's no pain but it is very raised I don't know if you can tell that it's a it's raised on the skin because it's still well, it's an irritated area. So I continue to have to put aqua for on it. And um, healing for this is obviously going to take a lot longer than the last one. Uh, th this guy told me not to go in chlorine, period. He said, do not go in your chlorine, chlorinated pool. And I was like, um, and uh, um, the manager just right now has been texting back and forth. That's why I've stopped and looked and stopped and looked because he's texting me. Um, 
said that he would suggest that I stay out of the sun, keep this out of the sun. And again, I was like, yeah, um, that's not going to happen. I live in the sun. I live for this weather. I wait 10 months out of the year to be able to do this. I will cover it if that's what you want me to do. And he said, well, try to not like just, and I, I said, I don't, I'm not going to lay out in the sun like this. But I'm going with my girlfriends to the lake, um, on, uh, Ontario Lake, which I always call it my little Cape Cod because the lake is so huge you can't see one end to the other and you get waves and the beach and it's as close to um, a Cape Cod beach as I'm ever going to get living here. So we're going on Thursday and spending the whole day there. So I will try to keep it from too much sun. I will bring saran wrap and wrap it when I'm in the water because I will also be going in the water a lot. But um, was it worth it? Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad I did it. I, I want to do these things now. It, life is short. You're not going to get another shot at this on this earth. I mean, we don't know what heaven's going to be like. Maybe in heaven there's tattoo artists going to be tatting us up. I don't know, but life is too short. So I was going to do another vlog on um, my thrift store hauls, but I have to get everything back out. I put everything away. I've used it. So I don't know. I might do that at another, a later date. My I, I have hit pay dirt from the thrift stores, by the way. I'm going to tell you. Um, shoes, purses that are brand new, never used, um, you know, absolutely never used. I have, I got a purse the other day that is, goes for a hundred and, I think it was a hundred and ten dollars and it's a brand new purse. You can tell, never been used. I got it for $6.99 plus 25% off because on Tuesdays, Tuesdays is 25% off for senior citizens. Ding, 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 ding. So you know what? There is some benefits for getting old. Thank you for stopping by. I really appreciate any comments. I love to hear from you guys. And um, I'll be back real soon with the unboxing of my kayak. That ought to be fun. That ought to be real fun. Bye-bye. God bless. Give me a thumbs up.